Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. How is your day today? I hope it's absolutely incredible. As for me, we have a pretty busy day today because it is a big feeding day. That's right. We have tons and tons of animals that need to get fed today and we're going to take you guys on the entire journey from snakes to Bella to Speedy to you name it. We are going to feed everything and we're going to have a great time. What do you say that we have an amazing day together and we push all our problems aside for the rest of this vlog? Can you do me a favor? Go down in those comments and tell me something awesome. I love reading about you guys. How is your day? Tell me what's going on with you guys. While you're down there, can you do me a favor and smash that like button for me? What do you say we just jump right into it, head downstairs, and see what's going on? Hey guys, it's feeding day today. I hope you don't get tired of watching us feed snakes all the time, but we feed our collection on the same day every single week. We normally have pretty good success getting the majority of our collection to feed every single time food is offered because our snakes are used to the routine. I was actually thinking about how useful it is is to have your snakes feeding on a schedule, snakes that are used to a routine are more likely to develop a good feeding response. And this can be a very good thing for two reasons. First reason being that if you're trying to feed a new prey item that your snake isn't used to, snakes are creatures of habit. If you have them on a schedule, they're used to a routine. If you offer something that they're not used to, they're much more likely to take it. The second reason being that if your snake used to getting fed on the same day every single week, if you upgrade their enclosure to something bigger, even though they're in a new enclosure, on that day their internal clocks are still gonna tell them, hey, it's feeding time and they're gonna be ready. A great example of this actually is our girl Sunrise. She outgrew her old tub, so this week I upgraded her. Now, I'm not gonna keep Sunrise waiting any longer. I know she's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and give her her rat, and then I'm gonna feed my ball pythons, my boas, along with some other stuff. So let's get started. Sunrise took her first meal in her new tub without any issue and the majority of our juvenile bull pythons have switched over to frozen with no issue and I really do think that having them used to a feeding routine really helps them to develop a good feeding response so that they're more likely to eat every single time that we offer food. Alright so all the feeding in the basement is basically wrapped up but we still have a lot of snakes to feed up here. Eric what are you feeding today? It's a big day, right? Ooh, big day today. Unfortunately, Lori uh, moved everything around here, so I'm kind of scratching my head, recounting my numbers, but I think we'll get it all done. We're going to be up here in the colubrid room, eating a lot of snakes today. So you're going all the way from pinkies all the way up to like small mice. What's the size? Yeah, yeah, pinkies to small mice. Some of our 2015 scaleless take small mice. These little guys will take hoppers or fuzzies, pinkies, whatever. We just kind of go through. I look at the snake and I say, here you go. You know, I. Pick, pick the size for him. Takes about all day to do it right. Perfect, I will let you get to it. I 
know Kelsey talked about scheduling a little bit when it comes to feeding, and it is kind of important. I mean, I'm not one of those people that thinks that you have to feed on Monday, and if you feed on Tuesday, it's going to screw everything up and the world is going to end. But I do think that if you have some sort of a schedule, it does help the animals for sure. And a lot of people ask me, how often do you feed your snakes? Well, we actually typically feed most of our snakes once a week. That's pretty much the cycle of the majority of snakes. By the time they ingest an animal, digest an animal, and able to pass an animal, it typically takes them about seven days. I mean, that's really rough. It could be five days, it could be nine days, but you get my idea. It's about seven days. But we do feed a little heavier to some of our razors, like for instance, our razor clubbers that have a little bit higher metabolism. We sometimes will feed them every four days, but we don't want to do that once they hit like an adult size, unless they're in the breeding cycle, because again, they're going to have more caloric energy going on, so they're going to be losing weight if we don't give them lots and lots of food. And I've talked before about calories in, production out. So during the breeding season, we will feed our adult colubrids every four days. But during the rest period or the off breeding season, once a week is all we want to do. But when a snake is growing, it has a higher metabolism. That's why a snake that is a six month old animal will typically shed four, five, six times in a year. Whereas an adult snake is only going to shed maybe three times a year. In the really big snakes, sometimes even less than that. So again, you have to understand the metabolism of animals. And when it comes to the giant snakes like reticulated pythons and Burmese pythons, once they hit full grown adult, we keep them on a seven to 10, sometimes even 14 day schedule. We kind of see how they react, how much food we put in. But there's no doubt that the larger animals definitely have a slower metabolism. Hence the reason they shed slower and they grow much slower. And then when it comes to things like Speedy and Bella and Fetty Wap and Karma, we feed those a lot. And then leopard geckos, of course, we feed every single day. We have food in with them and we may supplement that food with crickets or roaches or something like that once in a great while, but they always have food in with them all the time. So that basically gives you the rundown of what we do here at BHB when it comes to feeding animals. Regardless, there's a lot of animals to feed and we're always seeming to be feeding something. I know I just fed Bella just the other day some bananas, but she just loves bananas so much. We try not to give her too many bananas, but it is a treat for her. And she's running around today. Bella, what are you doing? You want a banana? You want a banana girl? Hey. You want a banana? Yes, you want a banana. Yes, you want a banana. Oh, oh, oh my little love. Oh, you are so aggressive with your banana eating, girl. Oh my gosh. Slow down. My gosh. Definitely doesn't eat like a proper girl, that's for sure. What are you doing, you silly monkey? There you go, sweetie. Oh, do you want more? Oh, you're hungry today. You sure? Look, she hasn't even swallowed her first bunch. And she's like, give me another bunch. I mean, she is just so funny. Oh, you're so cute, you silly. And of course, you guys always see Speedy and Savvy kind of running around in the background as I'm talking. There's Speedy over there. It's been a while since we've done a Speedy cam, and you know, we don't offer him fruit hardly ever, but he loves strawberries. He gets a lot of squash, gets a lot of roughage like Timothy Hay, and a whole host of other greens because that's mainly what he does. He certainly loves dandelions and grass and stuff like that, even some cactus every now and then. But I'm going to go ahead and give him a special treat for us today, and he absolutely loves strawberries. Go ahead and lay a trail of strawberries. We'll get the speedy cam on him and let him go to town. I'm going to go ahead and try to feed Karma. He absolutely loves hornworms and we've got some in, but he's been cruising around his cage all day. I'm not exactly sure what he's doing over there. Now guacamole has yet to take things off tongs. Eaten like a absolute pig, but yet to take anything off tongs. But let's see if we can get Karma to come to the front because he's way in the back over there and see if he'll take a hornworm for us. Karma's hunting back there. Look at him, watch, see if he comes out. Yes, Karma! Oh, way to go. He's just hiding back there. He's just sniping these things. Oh, yes. 
He absolutely loves hornworms. And the ones we got in are a little small, so I'm gonna go ahead and let these grow out. They grow so quick. Within just a few days, the small ones right here are gonna be larger than the ones I just fed him. So I'm gonna go ahead and save these, but Karma is so freaking awesome. So one of the other animals that we feed, obviously, all the time, like I had mentioned before, is leopard geckos. So we are gonna actually put fresh mealworms in with the leopard geckos, but unfortunately, our mealworm shipment got postponed till tomorrow, so maybe I'll show you guys that because we have a bunch of hungry geckos and our mealworms got pushed off, so maybe we'll do that tomorrow. But Jessica said we have some cave geckos, huh? Oh yeah, and they'll usually go after them. How cool was that? I mean, I tell you what, I remember just getting these guys, but I haven't ever seen them eat. So uh, Jessica, those things are freaking I awesome. I know, when are we I, getting more? <laughs> no, I need more, someone help me. I need more of these guys. <laughs> Seeing them eat was freaking awesome. So like I said, maybe tomorrow, we'll go ahead and still do some extra feeding with the leopard geckos when all the mealworms get here. Let me know down in the comments if you want us to do that. I've had a handful of people recently ask me about an update on Snoop Frog. And to be honest with you, I had planned to feed Snoop Frog today, but Eric actually beat me to it and fed Snoop Frog a little earlier. But you can see how big Snoop Frog is getting. Look at how cool he is. I absolutely love his color and patterning. I mean, that thing is freaking awesome. And he's probably literally like doubled his size probably since the last time I showed him. Look at how cute he is. So for those of you that wanted an update, Snoop Frog is doing absolutely good. Sorry I couldn't feed him on film today. Uh, again, Eric fed him earlier today and he's not going to eat more than one big meal a day. We'll give him crickets. We'll give him hornworms, you know, roaches when we have them as well as pink and fuzzy, so he definitely gets spoiled a lot. He's such a cutie. Laura, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you have Perdita out? Oh my god, I caught you with Perdita. Um, yeah. You weren't supposed to see this. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? Even you like her. Well, I guess you caught me. Yeah, she's kind of growing on me. I think know, she's pretty she? cool and she definitely seems very docile, so... I hope that she stays this way. And the truth is my buddy, Kevin McCurley from Nerd, he was the one that actually produced the first cowrie ticks. And he's been saying this from day one. He said, for whatever reason, cowrie ticks are the tamest of all the reticulated pythons. Like they're just super, super docile. And he thinks that with the color, the fact that they're white and beautiful and so interesting with the spot, and then with their temperament being so docile that these are like kind of that bridge snake that everyone just goes crazy about. I'm so happy you like her because she is absolutely <laughs> amazing. Yeah, well, I guess you found me out. So I'm thinking, Lori, maybe we should make a big enclosure at home in our living room. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? We can look at Bertina. She'd like to come home with us, wouldn't you? Nope, well, she can still stay here and have a nice, lovely life here at the shop. Awesome. Well, that's cool. I am super excited that Lori likes Perdita because she is absolutely incredible. See, Lori comes around and she likes the big snakes too. She's normally not a big snake fan, but hey, everyone can be converted. All right, guys, so there it is. The big feed day has come to an end. I hope that you guys have enjoyed us feeding all of these animals today. I absolutely love feeding animals. It's something that I've always been extremely interested in. Although I've talked about it before, I don't like the live animal part. I don't like the rodent part, but, but I still love the reptile part and feeding and like I said I'll probably go ahead and feed a bunch of geckos tomorrow when the mealworms come in so you guys see how that is because they're really cool they're just like little vicious reptiles that just love to eat mealworms so that should be absolutely incredible regardless I hope the rest of your day is amazing morning noon or night or whenever you happen to be watching thank you so much your support means the world to me and I love you guys so much can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button for me as well as turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning eastern standard time remember to be kind to someone today and i promise i'm going to see you guys tomorrow